Taking up projects and taking up projects is not just a person has pushed me, but because I'm self driven, I know what I want in life right now. Um, I'm a mom, but I'm the co founder and executive director of uh, Big Picture Learning Kenya, uh, which is an, uh, an education non profit that serves uh, students and young people from marginalized communities in Kenya. So currently, we work with uh, three communities which is uh, Kibera, uh, Kangemi, and Kawangware. Those are some of the three largest informal settlements in Nairobi. I was actually brought up in one of the communities that we work in. I was brought up in Kibera. Uh, they say Kibera is uh, the second largest informal settlement in Africa. And so um, coming up with uh, the big picture learning program in Kenya, uh, is as a result of what I lacked as a young girl growing up in Kibera. First of all, uh, the schools that you have access to um, are very limited. So you have, they, they are public schools, but they are also community schools. So people in the community, because the public schools are not enough for you know all their kids, they start schools uh, for their children. If it weren't for a community school, I will not have gone to school. Again, when you come to these community schools, they rely 100% on what families pay. And uh, families in these informal settlements, they value education, but they really, really struggle to raise school fee uh, or the tuition fee that is needed for their kids to go to school. So one day you're in school, another day you're not in school. The students that we serve, and uh, you know, pretty much that was my experience as well, um, you know, they are not in school twice in a week, you know. By the time you're completing high school, you've really missed a lot of class time. So this is where the, uh, you know, we come in. Kudanduru Leadership Academy supports students that, uh, you know, have completed uh, grade 12. So we, we, we bring these students and we help them navigate what they need as young people to be successful. And then, you know, the way you look at that success is, you know, it could be, you know, prepare them for jobs. It could be prepare them for college. It could be helping them to develop the confidence that they need to say, this is what I want to do. We help them pursue their passion and interest and, you know, go out of our way to link them to mentors and community people that are also passionate about working with young people so that they can, um, you know, really go out there and learn more about what they are interested in and what they are passionate about. So my driving question, uh, why is bullying still an issue? Uh, my project, it indulges uh, on uh, insecurities. I was doing a project um, on bullying in primary school. I am the program's lead at Big Picture Learning Kenya. For the past two months, the students were able to identify a social issue in their community and they were trying to come up with a solution to that issue. So they designed a project and they were also able to implement it and that took interviewing people, doing some research and just putting together all of that. So today basically what the students have been doing is sharing their findings from the project work, from the research, uh, from the interviews that they've conducted and also sharing with us what they are going to do to solve that problem in their communities. I chose the uh, Nubian project because I myself am a Nubian and 
I needed to know and I was interested to know about why Nubians were not recognized. After finding out the Nubians in the history helped Kenya to gain the independence. My project was creating awareness in my community on teenage pregnancy in Makina area. So I wanted to focus on this project because I wanted to understand why still teenage pregnancy rising in my community and what measures can be taken to reduce the rate from increasing. And also, I have always wanted to create awareness in my community by mentoring young girls. I did not have an idea how to propose, but with my advisor, with BPLK staff, I knew how to write a proposal. I interviewed 42 people, 20 adults, 22 teenagers and one nurse. So during my interview, I, in, I found out that most of these teenagers get pregnant because they come from a poor background. Hence, they are forced to engage in every means possible in order for them to earn a living. So my project was about alcoholism. Yeah, so the reason why I chose alcoholism is because I was a victim. So my parents were engaging themselves in alcoholism, which affected me and my siblings, so I thought I needed to create awareness on alcoholism. So advisories according to the Big Picture Learning International model is a learning community made of between 7 to 15 students led by a caring and uh, I would say supportive adult but in our own context, which is in Kenya, our advisories are very different because we host them in the communities that we work with. And I will say one thing that I love about these advisories is our students, our ABLE students, are able to host us in their homes. These students don't have resources, but they open their homes to us, they give us snacks, they ensure that we are safe, and to us that makes our advisories very unique. My advisory name is Shainaz. What I like about my advisory is that yeah, we were meeting at once per week. They were cooperative, teamwork. I would say if it weren't for the communities, we will not be successful because, again, we do not have a bunch of money <laughs> to do all this you know, um, work that is needed, even when you think about how we recruit students. So we rely a lot on the communities and the relationship that we've developed with the communities over time. The areas that stood out for me were first was the mindset continuum. I was that person who had fixed mindset. I was that person who could say that I can't do this thing, but now I'm able to say that even if it is the difficult task, I'm able to say that I can do this thing. I've acquired that growth mindset. So my internship site was located at Woodley Creative 254 and it was about photography. So there I learned so many skills. Uh, I, one of the skills I learned was communicational skill, which is a must uh, when one is creating and building relationship with the potential client. Uh, I also learned to be patient. Uh, that is one need to try until he or she gets it right. On level one, we get to learn about self-awareness. Another thing that we got to learn was um, how to uh, how to come with, up with a, a vision board. A vision board was uh, how, on how to maybe spend your money, what uh, will you buy, such things. I learned that I'm patient, I'm confident in myself, and I also learned a few communication skills. For someone to succeed, you must have a constant, or you should reflect on yourself. Uh, what went well and what needs improvement and you should also have listening skills. In part of Big Picture Learning Kenya, for I think this is the fourth year, yeah, and I would say we've been learning a lot. That includes learning through internships. And through that we were taught about um, getting to know what sort of career do you want to pursue and learning about your passion, what you want to do in your in uh, let me say in the future. And I think I will say um, I'm really passionate. I was really passionate about law. And at that time I got a time I got an opportunity to intern at the Kenya Human Rights Commission. And I got to like gain that exposure of what I really wanted to do. And that was when I realized like I really want to do law. And all thanks to Big Picture Learning Kenya because 
it was like sort of like that time for me to realize do I really want to do law or not and through them I got the opportunity and right now I'm actually studying law all thanks to them. Our Leadership Academy aims at building self-efficacy in young people especially from marginalized communities because we understand they have been through schools that are under-resourced and by the time they leave school, they really don't have the skills which help them to, you know, compete for opportunities in life. And I think that really leaves them with very limited options after secondary school. And through the academy, as they get to become aware of their strengths, as they get to become aware of opportunities that are available, it helps them become to see that there's, there's so much more that they can be able to do.